Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's real nice to see you again. Thank you for staying loyal to me. Thank you for joining again. Let's get into it. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Not every reading is going to resonate with everyone, you know, and that's okay. Divine, please guide me and protect me as I dive into this collective energy. Please give me clear and concise and precise messages. Let me know what the collective needs to hear right now. Let me know what the collective needs to know right now. I feel like a lot of you guys could have turned someone, someone snubbing you into inspiration. There could have been an incident where someone could have People could feel threatened by you at this time period, and there could be some people in some surprisingly high, high places that are threatened by you, where you feel like they have a position, but you know, like, why would they be threatened by me? They already have a position. This person is beautiful. Like, why are they acting threatened towards me? Somebody at least thought you would think that. But it feels like this person didn't know that you were like, you're a feeler. And you know, this person, could, somebody could have also tried to put you under some sort of confusion here, you know? And I feel like, I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to actually go for some what's the tea tarot. We haven't used those in a long time. We've been positive. I feel like that's another thing too. I feel like some of these people didn't realize they kind of fed your creativity here by even making your night interesting. Either way, your life is like a TV show. Like this person who you see, they thought you would be hurt by someone who has some sort of position and be this a boss, be this just someone who you felt like had their own sort of power, popularity, maybe even if some of you guys are younger. Well, you could be old. popularity works a lot when you're you're older too on the job. There's definitely favorites, you know, <laughs> and networking and whatnot. But um this person thought that you would be hurt and feel like, oh, I'm not accepted by the major people. But you're like, dang, major people, even people who not, you know, not that this person is major. This person is narcissistic enough to view themselves as someone you would view as major, but like you don't. And you not being affected by their... I don't know, cold shoulder maybe, or snubbery kind of brought them down to a sort of reality of who you are. You felt, some of you guys are learning to feel flattered by this, that people would even come off their, their high horse to kind of try to pull you down because these people feel like you can very easily take their position. Let's see how this little chain is going to work with these tarot cards. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Ooh. Spirit want to talk. I'll take all three. We got bad reputation. This person can already pre have a previously bad reputation. And um, yeah. This person might have a reputation of stealing other people's ideas and creativity. You, some people here, you might be being, um, what is that called? 
inspired or you know pushed to maybe make a report against this person or talk about this person if you feel pushed towards this because you might be the last straw that could get this person removed especially if it's in a professional environment and because this person might already have a bad reputation so another thing don't take this personally this person went after you because you didn't know them just yet. You know, this person is like not very happy with themselves. Some of you guys, this person could like, I don't know, have body dysmorphia. And my, you know, my love goes out to anybody who has that. But this person, I don't know, dodging bullets here. You dodged a bullet if you were released from some sort of team. You know, it's like this person or these group of people, this could be a group of people you felt like, well, I don't want to be around nobody anyway who acts like that. And then this person, because, you know, an energy vampire, they're going to try to mess with you and then try to read your internal thoughts. Like, what is this person thinking? And, you know, it's like, <laughs> Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. We got rejected. You could have rejected someone. Someone could have rejected you. Someone could feel rejected. Or someone might be getting rejected from some sort of a position they were going after. They might end up crying because they got rejected for this. Even if you were released, this person might be... Um, not leveling up the way they think they are this person you know they might bring up a lot of negative talk about different people this person could have thought that they were giving you a bad reputation but not they were giving themselves a bad reputation because they were trying to throw their weight around a little too much they might have been talking about other people. Oh, this person did this. This person did that. This person could use a certain tactic to try to make people flip out on them, to try to make it look like other people are jealous of them, to kind of try to vindicate, you know, their weird attitude. I feel like some people are starting to feel like this person has a personality disorder because like they've really been acting out when it comes to you because your energy isn't fully all in it. They don't feel fully fed. Yeah, people might be feeling like this person takes things a little too far. Ain't ish. Yeah, so some people might be saying that this person really ain't ish. You know, and because this is coming out under bad reputation here. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. In their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. Somebody could be really in their head about your creativity here. Like the way you guys, I don't know, you guys could just come off as different and creative. Like, I don't know, so it could be something about the way you dress, even if this is an office setting. Some of you guys might have some unique, very professional wear. You could be fully clothed. Some of you guys might like pushing the line. You might like wearing things that hug your curves. Some of you guys might have curves and everything you wear is no matter what, it's going to pop out your, your assets here. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. And this can make this person feel like they're not really anything. Also, not just your curves and your creativity, just the way people love you. They feel like a sense of authenticity that comes from you. Some people might feel a sense of responsibility over you because you have some sort of like, I don't know. Some of you guys are just really beautiful. Some of you guys you got divine energy. You know what it's like to have that sort of source energy thing, you know, and like, this is why energy, I, I can't even say that they get addicted to your energy because you don't want to take on this person. Forces, we got forcer, forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want here. 
This is dodging bullets. You could have dodged a bullet with someone who felt like they could they could have left you out because they felt like you weren't going to be easy to manipulate here. So these people could have wanted somebody that was like easy to manipulate. So if you were left out, you could have dodged a bullet here. Spirit, please tell me more. Especially if this is like a friendship group, if this is not employment, this is like platonic. This could have been like really dodging a bullet. This could have been someone who wanted a bunch of yes men around them. They wanted a bunch of lackeys around them. And it's like you guys have main character energy. So no matter how hard, so nobody can make you like their lack dog. This person wants like someone who second guesses their self. Like this is the type of like... It feels like a feminine energy here that kind of nags or belittles their friend, you know, like, or their so-called friend. But this person can't get that energy because deep down they don't have enough. Like, they're not, they're not as far ahead as they think they are. Like, you know, like in the world. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Some of you guys, I was going to say this person isn't famous, but some of you guys, maybe this person is famous, but maybe they could be famous, but they could be broke, like, you know, and they could be dealing with, like, um, just, you know, using their power and their weight around. We got rejected and we got cock blocking here. So somebody could have been um, pressured to reject you. Somebody could have wanted someone else to reject you. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys didn't get rejected, but somebody wanted you to experience some sort of rejection here. So they could have tried to say um, some sort of bad things about you and the way you came at them behind your, their back. If some of you guys didn't say anything, don't feel bad about that because I'm saying you could have saved your reputation here. If they were trying to block something, they know they can't block it. So they were trying to get you to block it yourself by maybe reacting to them aggressively. Like they could have wanted you to call them out here. It's like you guys are taking things slow. You're feeding your flame here. You're waiting for the right time, the right place. Say, please tell me more. Say, please tell me more. Fake flexing, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. Yeah, this person, like I said, might be fake rich. They might even, they might be. Uh, have some sort of success, maybe even on social media. If they're not famous, famous, like, you know, they might have like a level of followers, but they don't have that much income here. Not to say that's anything to shame anybody about if anybody is struggling with money. I don't ever shame anybody. I've struggled with money before, you know, but like, you know, I'm sure you guys didn't fake flex, even if you did, you know, you know, oh my goodness. Same ish, different day. <laughs> we got this coming out under fake flexing. So, like, yeah, somebody could feel like it's the same with them that they could be faking something every day. And if not just fake flexing, some of these people might like try to, um, garner sympathy due to like things that they might say other people did to them like you know so this person might either fake things it's like not in like a, you know it it could be kind of cute if you're like with your lover you know to like get sympathy have them kiss your boo-boos intimately because it's important to draw those those demonstrations because i feel like there's a time and a place for everything you know, as long as you guys are adults, you know, consenting adults. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> okay, let's go for some of these clarifying situation cards I got from Amazon. Yeah, clarifying life situations. And we'll clarify what we have here. Please, 
give us clarification on our situations. We got small steps, the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories. Celebrate them. They will take you there. Oh, goodness. Yes, yeah, celebrate the small victories here. I feel like a lot of you guys do celebrate the small victories. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos that a lot of you guys can make people feel motivated by celebrating your um, even your small victories. And steady progress here, meaning you're making progress anyway in spite of anybody trying to give you any sort of bad reputation. It's like you're too lovable here. Steady progress. Move with deliberate care as patience and attentiveness guide you to thoughtful achievements. You're going to be achieving um, even greater success somewhere else. Don't take anything too personally here. Don't make sure you're not too attached to any sort of situation. And, uh, you know, if it, it's understandable to mourn certain losses, especially if you need things to pay for your, your career and whatnot. Covering of secrets. Unveil the hidden wonders within the shadowy depths of en enigmatic secrets and concealed wisdom. I was just going to say that. I was like, some of you guys are going to start embracing kind of like the mystery of life rather than absolutely needing to know like where everything is going to go, especially romantically. I'm feeling like that concealed wisdom. I feel like also though, you're going to be getting wisdom just not even by trying to get it, you know? Or you guys could be someone who does question things for your safety. You can un can un you have you can also might have a lot of wisdom on other people that you don't let out to. If some of you guys basically you guys don't gossip. You guys got a lot of things that could end someone else's reputation but you choose not to go there. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys might hold a lot of other people's secrets. And then it's funny because nobody can really use stuff against you because I feel like a lot of you guys are authentic people. You don't have very many secrets. It's like, because a lot of you guys are easily forgiven for the way you behave because of your that's just who you are, you know, like you've been through a lot. So people understand <laughs> Like people, some of you guys might be charming where people make up excuses for you. This one to come out, breakthrough. It says navigate life's many twists and turns with elegance and resilience here. Yeah, some of you guys, yeah, you, you navigated many life's twists and turns with elegance and resilience. That's what I was thinking of. So no matter what you're doing, though, I feel like it comes off as elegant, like whether you guys wear baggier clothes or whether you wear lesser clothes, you guys have a sense of maybe um, elegance. Embrace the unexpected, seize the chance for transformation, magic opportunities. Some of you guys are going to be getting some sort of magical opportunity coming in here. <laughs> Breakthrough. And it came out in reverse, so magic opportunity would have been the... Spirit, please tell me more. I like these cards. I think they're positive, like, both ways. These are good, like, ways to clarify this. Mountain of mastery, ascend towards self-realization and triumph, guided by the stoic presence of the mastery mountain pathway here. Okay, some of you guys are climbing up that mountain regardless, because this is coming out under rejected and um, cock blocking here. There's something more. Oh, let's read the other side. Celebrate your achievements and savor the triumph of your ascent, for you've climbed high and earned your view. 
yeah, a, nobody's going to be able to block you because a lot of people are going to say that you earned your place. Even if you are new in that area, you have a lot of experience. I feel like some of you guys could feel like you're climbing up a mountain right now. Maybe some of you guys are very new, very young, starting your position. But um, I feel like you're going to definitely progress, even if there's definitely some closed cabins along the way. And then I feel like a lot of you guys are going to new heights where people are afraid to go. There might be something risque about what you do if you're looking at this person climbing to the top of the mountain. Whoa. Did I take all of these? We got duality dance. Seek balance amid the chaos and find harmony within yourself. Yeah, a lot of you guys can find harmony within yourself here. And uh, a lot of people can't really disrupt you because you've had to soothe yourself since maybe since a young age here. Maybe maybe you guys had a pacifier at some point and you had to have that taken from you. Maybe you had it for a longer time than expected. And then you had to go through like maybe some traumatic self-soothing or maybe you guys were always left to self-soothe. Maybe you guys had some sort of a uh, difficult relationship with your parents. Other you guys, that's another thing I was going to say. There was something parental here. I feel like a lot of you guys are both remembering the dualities of your parents' hair. Like, you know, some of you guys are like, oh, I can't stand my mom, like, because of this, because of that. And you know, like how she raised me. And then some of you guys are like, oh man, I love my mom because of this day, that day. It's, you're kind of going to be able to blend that thinking. Part of you is trying to figure out whether your parents were good people or bad people. Some of you guys might also be trying to figure out if your ancestries were good people or bad people. There could be something about the light and dark side here. You could be trying to figure out if you come from the light side or the dark side. But once duality dances, it could kind of create many different colors and forms. Okay, so yeah, that's what I feel like it is. People might feel threatened. You might take their position. They might want to try to make you feel humble. They're left out. But really, it's like they're trying to block you from taking what they know is theirs. Some of them deep down might have some sort of idea that maybe they annoyed people. They rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. This person also might view themselves as like, I don't know, more attractive than they are. They put more emphasis on looks, but it's not just looks. A person real, who looks good is also like the way they behave here. It's like a certain elegance too. Like the way a person behaves could definitely make or break your attraction for them. We got seven of diamonds coming out. And we got the three of clubs coming out. Oh, I, I forgot, I didn't tell you that this is it. We can get some angel numbers and get out of here. 734. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that's in the description box below. Thank you, everybody who books personal readings with me. Thank you for all your super thanks, your cash app donations, and to all of those who like, comment, and subscribe. It's really been helping your girl grow, and I 1000% appreciate that. But let's get your angel numbers. I did that backwards. I went back and forth on whether I should read this angel number or not, because I was like, this is too real. This is too, like, <laughs> well, this is on sunsigns.org. And this is by, the uh, first thing that popped up was it was a song by Juice World, and also the area code to Michigan. So that could be significant. <clears throat> Sorry. So that could be significant here. 
It says angel number 734, chase your dreams is what it says. Often angel number 734 appears to ask you to be active in your in life. Do not sleep on your dreams and talents. Besides, you can do a lot and become a wealthy person if you learn to be up early to plan your life. Thus, angels discourage you from being lazy and ignorant. Utilize your time appropriately by avoiding wastage is, a, is in a less meaningful thing. I feel like a lot of you guys have been using your time wisely, though. I feel like a lot of you guys could have been this Virgo season, so it could have just kicked in. A lot of you guys could be getting a lot of things done. Some of you guys might just be feeling a little set back because of the cleanup we had to do because of Mercury retrograde and some sort of uh, cross-ups and consistencies. Angel number 73. Oh, that's 736. Okay, so that's all for 734. All right. So I guess that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I Hopefully, I will see you next time. If you went ahead and got comfortable and liked and commented and subscribed, I love, let, I love when you guys let me know if it resonates with you or, you know, if it doesn't, at least all the comments that I could see, I scroll, I scroll as much as I could get back to, but hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. Goodbye.